Welcome to the Low Grade Hero. How's it going guys? And I'm back with another video. Now, today I'm going to be showing you guys a few things that I bought. Me and my wife, we went around town and just went shopping for a little bit. It is mine and my wife's anniversary, second year married. And, uh, you know, thought we'd go buy some stuff uh, for our gifts, you know, our anniversary gifts and whatnot. So, um, yeah, I bought a couple things. She bought me a few things. And I kind of just want to show you what I got. Nothing too much, um, just a few things. But um, I do have about two to three books that came in the mail today. I'm going to wait for maybe one or two more before I do another unboxing. And then uh, we'll make another video for that. So, uh, yeah. So let's get into this uh, because we are going to be going out to dinner soon. And, uh, yeah. So, first book we have. I was very surprised they had this because I went there about a month ago. I believe a month ago. And I saw it, I was gonna buy it, but then I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna buy it, put it back. Every time since I've been there, it's it wasn't there, gone. I go there today to Entertain Mart and it's just sitting there on the rack. So, we have here, King in Black, number one. The Peach Momoko, I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. The Peach Momoko variant. Um, this is an absolute beautiful cover right here. I'm not too big on variants, but this is something that I could just cannot pass up. Plus, I didn't have the I don't have this book. Um, I pa I didn't get the uh, cover A for it or any cover. So I was like, you know what? I don't have it. I'll get it. And uh, the cover is just a win. -win. It's like an extra. So Peach Momoko, that's just a. I like her, I, I do like her style, it's like Japanese art slash like anime, I'm not really too big of an anime fan, I never really, you know, but I really do enjoy that. So, King in Black number one, I saw like a CGC 9.8 going for like 50 bucks, uh, that's pretty crazy. Next we have here, one of my favorite covers of that first Moon Knight run. Moon Knight number 30. Um, I've had two of these actually, so this is my third copy I've had. And uh, you know, I spent about $15, which is a little more than I want to spend, but overall, not too bad considering you know, you buy you know stuff off eBay, you gotta pay tax and shipping, so uh, not too bad of a copy right there. Um, I mean. Doesn't get any, any better than that, right? I think so. Moon Knight number 30. On my way, hopefully, completing the run soon. And then, uh, third thing we have right here. You wanna come say hi? Come here. Come here, babe. Come here. I was gonna tell my wife to come say hi, but she's too shy. She's put on her new pants that she bought. So, uh, third thing we got here. I had this before, uh, I was like a 1.8 or something, kind of looks like 1.8, but uh, we have Strange Tales, what is this one, 157, I believe this, I forgot, I'm pretty sure this is the first appearance of Eternity, so, uh, 10 bucks, you know, nothing too crazy, a low grade, but maybe I'll do a, a low grade spotlight on this bad boy, underrated book. Really sweet cover uh, with uh, Baron Strucker, Nick Fury, and uh, I don't know the other girl. But that's that. All right, guys. So the last thing that I uh, got for today, it's actually pretty cool. It's not a comic. It is a figure. You know, I want to start getting into collecting figures as well. Older, like older figures, for even you know new ones. And you can get the store, but uh, I saw this. You know, it was ten bucks and. I was like, you know what, why not? It is a Marvel Universe figure. This is back, I'm guessing, from the 90s, early 90s or mid-90s. But we have a Ghost Rider action figure. That is pretty sweet. And if you smell the cardboard, hmm, smells exactly like comic book. 
So uh, that's a win-win for me. This is awesome. And, uh, you know, stuff like this is what I want to collect, you know. I won't be taking this out of the package, uh, packaging. You know, this is something you have in 40, 50 years and, you know, you pass this on to your grandchildren or your children. And, uh, yeah, even though it's from the 90s, the box is a little, a little, you know, rough, but it's still enclosed. So, yeah, guys, so that's basically what I got today. Um, there's this really sweet print. It's a, it's a print of this guy who did original, a, an original sketch, not really sketch, but drawing on blank uh, comic books. And he made prints, and it is the greatest one I've seen, if not, well, it, it's one of the greatest I've ever seen. So, I have that here, but I won't, I'll wait till probably tomorrow when I get a couple more. And yeah, so uh, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Really appreciate it. Uh, we're almost at the 14:30 mark on Instagram, so keep on following, keep on sharing. Uh, we're, we're we're so close. We're we're getting close, and I got I got some uh, some good stuff coming. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. And until tomorrow, I'll see you then.